photosynthesis and research work. Objectives By the end of this video, you will be able to define photosynthesis with an equation. Explain the research work done in this context of requirement, products and process of photosynthesis. Obviously, you will appreciate the scientists for their contribution in this regard. Keywords The major keywords in this video are photosynthesis and scientists will observe these videos. How beautiful they are. The plants give pleasure to our eyes. The plants are always the gifts of nature. We feel very happy to be with the plants. Of course, the plants not only give pleasure to our eyes, but also serve as food resources for all the living organisms on this earth. Would you like to know what made the plants to be the food resources? The green plants in the presence of sunlight acquiring carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere Water and minerals from the soil produce complex organic substances such as glucose. Meanwhile, it produces oxygen too. Glucose is converted into starch and stored in the tissues of the plant. Whereas oxygen is released into the atmosphere. This process is known as photosynthesis. Chemical equation of photosynthesis. Earlier, a simple chemical equation has been proposed by C.B. Van Neel by his observations. That is, CO2 plus 2H2O gives rise to CH2O plus H2O plus O2. This explains, the, explain, this explains that one molecule of carbohydrate to be formed one molecule of water and one molecule of oxygen are produced. But this is not a balanced equation. After several works, the final um, chemical equation has been proposed such as 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives rise to C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. Scientific research. A lot of scientific research work had been done in this regard. In this video, we are going to learn some of the milestones and the scientists who have worked in this regard. The first one is Von Helmet. He was the pioneer in this regard because he was the one who observed that the plants take the water and grow. He performed a five-year experiment with a willow tree planted in a pot with soil. He has taken the initial and final ways of soil and plant. And he has found that final weight of the soil is same as initial but the plant weighed over 12 stones more. With these observations, he concluded that the plants drink water and grow. The next scientist is C.B. Van Neel. He has worked on purple sulfur bacteria. He has observed that the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed and the production of hydrocarbons depend on the amount of H2S available. He tried to relate this issue to the plants. Instead of H2S, the plants use water and release oxygen where the bacteria release sulfur. With these observations, he proposed a general equation which we have discussed earlier. The next scientist is Joseph Priestley. He reported the first evidence that gases participate in photosynthesis. He has done an experiment with a candle, mouse, plant and bell jar. He has taken a bell jar which is airtight, placed a candle inside it. After some time, the candle puts off. Next time, he has tried with a candle along with the mouse. This time, the candle puts off as well as the mouse fainted due to the suffocation. But the next time, he has introduced a plant along with the mouse and candle. This time, the candle could not put off and the mouse is also very active. So, with a simple experiment, we can easily conclude the role of gases 
in the process of photosynthesis. He has proposed with this observation that the plant's growth releases the gas which is required for life and absorbs the gas which is not preferred for animal life. John Engine House He has observed that the effect absorbed by Priestley occurred only when the plant is illuminated. It means that the light plays an important role in the process of photosynthesis. He has observed more air bubbles around hydrilla which is illuminated with the sunlight when compared to the plants in shade. And also he has observed the air bubbles contain oxygen gas. With these observations, he has concluded that light plays an important role in the process of photosynthesis as well as oxygen is released in this process. Angelman He detected the maximum rate of photosynthesis under sunlight. He used algae exposed to different colors of light. In this experiment, he has observed two things. The first one is, algae released more air bubbles in red and blue color rays. And the second thing is that, oxygen sensitive bacteria crowd around algae under red and blue light. With these observations, he concluded that the light plays a major role in the process of photosynthesis as well as it releases oxygen during this process. Pelletier and Kevin Shu. These two scientists have taken the extract of green colored pigment from a leaf and it is named as chlorophyll. But the thing is that the chlorophyll extract when illuminated with the light could not perform photosynthesis. This has given a question mark that what is the thing which is required further for the process of photosynthesis along with chlorophyll. This question was answered by Julius Van Sachs. After the Pelletier and Kevin Shu extraction of chlorophyll pigment, it was thought that the chlorophyll pigment has been scattered throughout the leaf. But Julius Van Sachs revealed the fact that chlorophyll pigment is located only in some of the cell organelles in the plant tissues, that is chloroplast. With this observation, we can easily conclude that the chloroplast is an aggregate structure containing the chlorophyll pigment and other substances which are required for photosynthesis. Robert Hill He demonstrated the Hill reaction of photosynthesis. He proved the release of oxygen from water molecule. He also made contributions to the development of Z scheme of light reaction. We'll discuss about the Z scheme of light reaction later. I would like to say something about chemical equation which we have discussed in this video. That is 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives rise to C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. It verbally says that carbon dioxide reacts with water molecule to produce glucose and oxygen. But it is totally wrong. Then what is right? Carbon dioxide does not react with the water molecule. It takes part in the second phase of photosynthesis. Oxygen is released from the water molecule. This equation just represents the requirements and products of photosynthesis literally. It is a complex process which involves several biochemical reactions. We'll discuss about these biochemical reactions in further videos. Finally, let me summarize the things whatever we have learned so far. Photosynthesis is a process in which the organisms like plants with chlorophyll utilize light as energy source, acquire carbon dioxide from atmosphere, water and minerals from the soil produce glucose and release oxygen. Several lot of scientists worked on tracing out the facts of this process. Some of them are Van Neel, Priestley, Engine House, Angelman, etc. Scientific research in this aspect involved time over years but the contributions of scientists are always appreciated.